Let's take a look at how to update an ACPT repeater field on the front end. So here we have a demo post with the title test 24, which was created using ACPT and it contains a repeater field at the bottom with the title major characters. So let's see how we can update these major characters on the front end using BricksForge ProForms. So this is the example. And here we have the title. It was retrieved using the ID of the post. And I can change the names from the repeater field and say, rather than Nick, I can say David. And the age, let's say is 27. Then this will be maybe Joshua, 28. And let's say I want to add a new one. And that will be Mary, 31. Let's submit it. And you see it's updated on the front end. If I go back to the back end and I refresh, you can see it was populated. David, Joshua, and Mary. They were all populated on the back end. So now let's take a look at how we can create the form using BricksForge Pro Forms. But first, let me go ahead and show you the ACPT fields. So here we are in ACPT. I created a custom post type called books. Then I attached some field groups to it called the books field group. Let me go ahead and edit it. And I basically added some custom fields to it. But we're focusing on the repeater field today. One nice trick that I learned today is how to collapse all of these fields. You just simply click on the icon that shows hide or show meta field. So you can easily collapse all of them. And when we collapse them, you can now see a kind of bird's eye view of all of your fields. And the field we are focused on is the repeater field called major characters. And you can see this icon shows that these are child fields under the major characters repeater field. So we have a text field and a number field. The important thing here we need is the key, which is called major characters. So let's go ahead and create a page. I'll add the pro form into the page and then we'll reference the key. So let's jump to the Bricks editor. So here we are in the Bricks editor. Let me go ahead and add a new pro form. Then within the pro form, the only field we need is the title and a repeater field. So I'll delete the rest. We'll also need one field, which is a hidden field to store the ID of the post because we are trying to update already existing post. So in the pro forms, I'll click on the plus icon and then I'll search for hidden as well as the repeater field. Let me move them into place. Okay, so we have our three fields. Let me go ahead and rename them. So the first one will be the post ID. Second one will be the post title. So we know exactly which form we are editing. And the last one is going to be my major characters. Okay. And within that repeater, we have a text field and a number field. As you can see from the meta field, so we have the text field and the number field. So this is text. Let me add a number field as well. Okay. So the first one is the name and the second one is the age. So we have all of our fields. Now let me go ahead and start populating them. So I'll start with the post ID. The way we want to populate the post ID is using a URL parameter. So that's what I used in the example. I just added a key called ID equal to the ID of the post I want to edit. So let me just give it like my post ID as the custom ID, the value. Is going to be URL parameter. So I'll click on the dynamic data tag and search for URL parameter. And then all we have to do is add a column and then whatever key we want to use. So I'll use ID in this case. 
that is for the first field. Let me go ahead and copy that. We'll need it for the post title as well. So this will be my post title. And the label will be post title. Let me go ahead and just add a class name to do some styling. So I'll go to Proform and I'll just add the class name that I've already created. That just makes all of the posts to get bigger labels. Okay, so we're in the post title. The value will be, make sure you have the BricksForge dynamic data tags active. Just then you see the option here, BricksForge. And what we're looking for is the one that says post title. Then at the end, I'll put the column and I want to put the ID, which is on my URL parameter again. So I'm saying get the post title from the ID within the URL parameter. Then the next one is the major characters. And for this one is called my major characters. Okay. And I just call it major characters. So this is the important bit to be able to like show the existing field. we we'll go under the data and we have to choose the right data source. In this case, I'm going to choose ACPT. It will give us three different fields. The first field is the ID, which is just URL underscore parameter colon ID. Then the box name is, when we go back to our meta field, is the name of the box. So under meta boxes, the first name is the name of the box. So I'm just going to copy that. It's called book. And then we need the field name. The field name is the name of the repeater field. So I'll come back and go over to my repeater. Then I'll copy the title. So that is done on the wrapper for the repeater. Next, we go into the inner fields. And what you have to note here is under the general tab, make sure the custom ID is the same as the name of your ACPT repeater field subfield. So I'll come back to my subfields. So the first one is just name. So I'll copy that. I'll put it there. The second one is age. The name has to match within the repeater field to the ACPT field. So that is for the age. Now I can give them their labels. So for the age, I'll give the label as age. We don't have to add any value. That will be populated automatically. Then the name, I'll give it a label of name. And now when I save it, you can go ahead and preview it on the front end to make sure that the values are being populated correctly. So I'll go to the front end and I'll add my ID. So just after the question mark, I'll say ID equal to, and then the ID of my post. The ID of the post, you can go when you check the post. If you look at the top bar, you can see the ID there, post equal to 139. And that now populates the field correctly. So the first step is done. The next step involves connecting the form fields to the post submit action. Let's take a look. So here we are back in the Bricks edit page. Head over to the pro forms. And then under actions, I can get rid of the email. Choose update post meta. Then that will create a separate accordion called update post meta. When you toggle it open, choose the source to be ACPT. Then we can start adding the item. The post ID is going to be our hidden field. So I'll click on the FX and I'll choose the hidden field, which is my post ID. 
then we give it the box name. The box name is book. So let me copy that. And I'll paste there. Is it a repeater field? Yes. And let me just allow only logged in users to be able to edit the form. Then the repeater action, I'll choose update the rows pro form repeater. The post meta name is the name of the ACPT field, which is called major characters. And the key is from our form. Let's go ahead and choose it. So that's the major characters. And finally, like the warning says, because it's an array, we need to put colon array. So go ahead and add colon array and I'll go ahead and save it. Now let's see on the front end. Okay, we have the field. Let's go ahead and add the ID. It's populating correctly. Now let me go ahead and edit the field. So I'll say Nick 24 Noah 23. Then let me go ahead and get rid of the other one. Then let's submit. Let me refresh the page. And you see now we have only Nick and Noah. We can improve the form a bit by adding a reload so that it reloads the form after successful submission. So I'll come back to my form. Under the pro forms, we can add an extra action to reload the page. Let me save it. And now if I go back, refresh, we can now start adding extra. Let me go ahead and add some styles so that this minus and plus icon can show properly. So I'll come back to my field, major characters, which is the repeater field. Then I'll go to the buttons and I'll choose a darker color. Okay, that's for the plus and for the minus. Yeah, so that's it. Save it and let's go ahead and test it out now. So let me add a new field and this time I'll say Joshua and 31 and then submit. You can see it is populated here. If we go to the back end and refresh test 24, you can see Nick, Noah and Joshua. Everything is populated successfully. And yeah. That's how easy it is to update your ACPT repeater fields using BricksForge Pro Forms. In future videos, I'll be going through more fields and going through step by step how you can populate different fields using BricksForge Pro Forms. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.